Hey guys, how's it going? Jake from Meat Source here. Today is just a really quick short video in regards to just pretty much a follow up to one of the videos that I put up a couple of about a month ago, the HP Graphics Accelerator Box, the Thunderbolt 3. The link for that video is in the description below. So please watch that video first if, if you're coming here. So essentially from what I got from the couple of comments that I did get in that video, um, as a recording, I feel like I might and may not have explained myself properly in regards to my setup specifically and how that might may have impacted the experience that I had. So basically, I was running a HP Spectre X360 Ultra Ultrabook, and basically, I was running the mid-range model, seventh gen i5, eight gigabyte of RAM model. It's speculated, but highly suspected that the eight gigs of RAM probably played a part in my graphics performance in games. So my frames and everything like that, frame rates. So definitely I, I'm not ignoring that at all. I, I can, I, I understand that that would be an issue with that. My biggest gripe with the Thunderbolt 3 GPU more or less is the fact that the USB stuttering is just horrendous. It is unbearable, especially if you're playing like Basically, VR is impossible to play with this accelerator box, at least with the setup that I had, because that's where you're facing the, with the high bandwidth USB 3 sensors. They absolutely rip up all that bandwidth. And then so that's where you start getting mouse and keyboard stuttering. The sensors cut in and out all the time through the Oculus Rift software. It's just an overall bad experience. And now even without the sensors, I was still getting those issues just with a keyboard and mouse and plug in a hard drive it's all the fucking time so you know at the end of the day that was my biggest gripe now definitely i had issues with performance and in that video it was a terrible fucking example because everything went actually really well which it normally didn't it, it never used to do that so that was kind of annoying but anyway since then i ended up getting a full desktop tower pc i went back to one and my issue is pretty much a non-existent now and I'm, I'm glad that I did it. So if you were looking at that setup specifically, I would say don't go for that, the HP Spectre with the Omen Accelerator box. The newer models, 8th gen models, maybe maybe they run better, but I'm just saying with the 7th gen model, Accelerator box, don't, don't really consider it. And at the end of the day, I would always recommend a desktop PC over a uh, laptop eGPU setup. Unless that's absolutely vital to you, I would always, I'm gonna, I would have to recommend just go for the tower. Anyway, guys, I hope that clears up some issues, maybe that I, maybe some shit that I didn't really quite bring up in my last video. Thanks heaps for watching. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do have any more comments on this, please ask me the questions and I'll be happy to answer. Maybe I didn't, uh, it still, still haven't really explained myself quite as good as I should have. Yeah, ask me the question. I will reply, whether it be through text or through video. Who knows? Uh, anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Have a good one.